Calgary is one of the best places to live on planet Earth. You know, what you're seeing above my head right now is not actually cloud, it's plumes of smoke. And it's gonna be very difficult to make this video, but I wanted to make this video because there is so much bullshit online about moving to Calgary. And you know me, I have to be the only one essentially to come out and tell you how it is and what it's really like, the reality of living here. And this is probably actually gonna be my last video in Calgary, ironically, because I'm leaving, as I've said many, many times. So this will probably be my last video in Calgary. I've walked here and I've been wearing an N95 mask. The air quality right now is absolutely dreadful it's not good although it has improved guys it's actually got better so right now you can see the air quality is around 108 and that means there's about 50 ug per square meter of air of pm 2.5 in the air pm 2.5 is a toxic substance but you know it's such a shame guys jasper has burnt to the ground today although that's to be confirmed because we won't know but it seems like the fire reached the town and i don't see how they're going to be able to save any of it it will be a miracle if they do and calgary has been impacted by wildfire smoke for the past couple of weeks the last week it's got increasingly bad here in calgary the wildfire smoke last night i went for a walk the air quality improve they do measurements on an hourly basis the app i use is iq air and it started to get better so i went out for a walk and then a massive plume of smoke came in whilst i was on that walk i regretted it i didn't have a mask with me and right now i can tell you it smells like a fire that's exactly what it smells like the air that i'm breathing in is toxic it's no good for you it's going to shorten your life especially if you live here long term but that's a decision that people have got to make here i think this place is becoming inhospitable and it's not just the rampant inflation in this province like the cost of living has absolutely skyrocketed in alberta and it's no longer worth living here compared to the other provinces but the health effects from the smoke are just terrible and it was one of the biggest reasons why we chose to leave is because for six months of the year practically you have winter you have bad weather and then you have literally four to five weeks of decent weather and then the smoke rolls in it spoils your summer essentially and your summer is so short here in calgary that you really have to weigh it up now if you want to watch a channel that sugarcoats everything there are hundreds of of moving to Calgary channels that you can watch of realtors who sugarcoat things and just glaze over the fact that there is toxic wildfire smoke that impacts Calgary for months on end every year. A lot of the time they don't even issue the statements, but the air quality gets pretty bad and visibly bad. You can see right now it's not too bad and I'm not sure if it's even coming out on the camera, but there's like a haze and that's obviously the smoke, but it's been way worse than this where you can barely see the other side of this ridge so it's just absolutely crazy and i think people moving here should just know how bad the smoke is and get educated on how bad it is for your health for your kids health especially because it's just terrible to be breathing in this toxic smoke pm 2.5 is extremely carcinogenic because it's so small that the particulates get right into your bloodstream they get into lots of cells and organs in your body and they've been linked to cancer. There's been meta-analysis that has been done by the government of Canada. There's multiple PubMed meta-analysis that have been done on PM 2.5 and the rates of cancer increase drastically per 10 UG per meter increase in PM 2.5 concentration in the air. And right now it's at 50 UG, but it's got way higher than that. In fact, yesterday I'll put up on the screen the IQ Air app was saying that you need to wear a respirator or gas mask. There's only one type of furnace filter that you can buy and it's very expensive that actually filters out PM 2.5.
So if you don't have one of those furnace filters, you're gonna be inhaling it inside as well. And when it's like this, you just don't wanna go out. You don't see many people walking around right now. And I've saw one person who's been out. And most people are just not educated on how bad wildfire smoke is for their health. So it's absolutely terrible. Every year you have these wildfires that come and they devastate communities. Jasper was one of my favorite places actually, one of my favorite national parks in Canada. And Jasper looks to have been burnt down essentially, which is really, really sad. And it's more communities every year that get impacted by these wildfires. There's something like 300 wildfires burning between BC, Saskatchewan, and Alberta right now. And yeah, just living here is not worth it, in my opinion. It's just becoming inhospitable between the really cold and long winters and then the wildfire smoke that comes in and spoils the summers, impacts your health and your kids' health. It's just not worth the cost. And also, what most people don't tell you is that Calgary is actually a very expensive place place to live. It always has been ever since we came here. Goods and services seem to be on average between 10 to 20 percent more expensive than the rest of Canada. You have a lower sales tax which often entices people to move over but they offset that by jacking up the prices even more. <coughs> So anyway, if you're moving to Calgary or thinking about moving to Alberta or Saskatchewan, I would seriously take this into consideration in making your decision. Do your research on the wildfire smoke. You wanna be aware of all the negatives as well as the positives. There are a lot of people out there that are just gaslighting. There are a lot of people out there just making videos because they have something to gain. I don't care if you move to Alberta or you don't. Sorry, the camera battery died, the wind's got up, the smoke's got even worse. So I put my mask on, I was struggling to breathe. It's just terrible. But anyway, there is so many people online that are trying to tell you that this is the best place to move on the planet. Even the EIU saying it's the most livable place, one of the most livable cities in the world. They don't take into account the cost of living, inflation, crime, the environment in terms of the toxic wildfire smoke and the long winters that you have here and you've just got to take that into account and make the decision yourself don't get gaslighted by all these people who say alberta is the best place and you're going to be so much happier here and the cost of housing is slightly less and the housing bubble is slightly smaller here what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to play some video clips that i took on my drone unfortunately it's way too windy to actually fly the drone today but you can see in these clips just how smoky it actually is this these clips were both took on different days and you can see that clearly it is very very smoky that is not fog that is not cloud that is actually smoke and that's the sad thing about this situation is really i wish the summers were great here and i wish you didn't have the smoke element it would make the summers really good here but we've lived here now for nearly six Six years and since coming here we've had one year where there was no smoke every other year there's been smoke for varying amounts of time but usually between six to eight weeks last year it was one of the longest periods of time because the smoke started in June and just went right through to October essentially so it's really really sad unfortunately I'm gonna start heading back now because the smoke is getting worse and I don't want to be caught outside in a plume of smoke again it's just it's not good like you can feel it even through the mask you can smell it and feel it but this stuff is just absolutely terrible for your health guys and i seriously hope that people hear this warning you know the wildfire smoke and the wildfire season in canada is just becoming longer and the thing i don't understand is guys you've got places like mexico that have a long hot dry season places like costa rica also 
so but Mexico in particular has dry forests and what happens is the forests actually shed their leaves during the dry season so there's all this ignitable material that's on the floor from the leaves that are drying out during that dry season and yet they never have the scale of wildfires that Canada has clearly there is some mismanagement going on I mean I know for example the fire that started today near Lake Louise was started by somebody with an illegal fire and apparently a study came out and it was saying that something like over 60 to 70 percent of the wildfires were human caused last year I remember seeing that and just thought wow that is absolutely crazy but it kind of makes sense when you really think about it and we're on to bigger and better things than this place so get ready for that and if you're interested in following me along this journey of my life and god knows where this channel goes the mistakes i make everything and if you've enjoyed this video i'd highly recommend that you check out that video there and i will see you guys in the next one take care of yourselves